Hello and welcome to another episode in my Warhammer 40,000 Conquest series. In this episode, I'll be showing you a few tips and tricks on how to build your awesome Redemptor Dreadnought. So stay tuned. <laughs> So essentially all you're going to need is um, issue 24 because that's the one with the instructions in it. So you can put some of it together. Actually you can't because you get just this bit. You don't get this bit until issue 25. So you, But what you can do um, when you get issue 24 is you can cut these bits out and you can paint them up separately and that way they're ready to go. Um, you, obviously you'll know that the main uh, armor plates will be blue, some of the detail will be silver or gold, you can go by the pictures in the book. Um, so yeah, and uh, when you get this in issue 25, uh, then you can really start getting stuff together. Uh, also what I suggest is keeping the arms and the torso and legs separate. So don't glue them down. Glue the panels together. Keep the front panel, that's this one, off or, you know, loose until you've finished painting the, this part here. Because there's a fair bit of detail there. And you might decide to not even put it on. Because um, on the multi-part uh, plastic kit, you actually have a choice to keep this panel um separate because this is the easy build kit i don't know you could just pop it on but um you can you can like dry fit and see where the detail is going to be and you could just paint where it's going to be exposed but um yeah as you can see there is like quite a lot of detail here so you can always make a look battle damage and just cut out that bit yourself with your clippers but i digress you get your base and uh, you get your bits and pieces and you start clipping away remember to be careful with it and then use your uh, mold line remover or your uh, knife whatever you're using to remove the mold lines as I said before I've misplaced my uh, scraper which is a shame I'm sure it's somewhere obvious but until I find it, I'm going to have to use that blade. So, carry on popping the bits out and then we'll get back to actually building it. Alright, so once you've neatened everything up and you've taken all the uh, extra bits and pieces off, uh, it's time to put it together. Now, the great thing about this is because it's an easy to build kit, you don't need any glue because it's got these pins and sockets. Um, you can trim them slightly to push as flush as possible but um, I already tried it before recording this segment and it all fit perfectly uh, so I, I don't feel like I need to um, but anyway we'll go straight to it so what you want to do um, I'll fast forward this section as well um, but you won't need to glue any of it uh, but if you do want to glue some of it you can and I'll suggest uh, trimming these pins down so that you uh, have room for the glue inside the socket and also just put a little bit around the edges so that you can sort of uh, fill out the gaps if there are any gaps. So we'll start with the fast forwarding. In order for it to fit, you will need to swivel the feet slightly, so have them sticking outwards slightly. 
so like that. So I would suggest not if you are going to glue the feet to the legs to uh, wait until you've got it in this position and then you could just fuck it up. Uh. As you can see, it sticks in pretty tough. But if it was loose, you could pop them out, glue them to the base, and then um, put the glue in there, and then you could just push them in, and it would fit. Oh, bugger. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I just fucked that up. There we go. All right, no harm, no foul. I'll just need to put a bit of glue here, a little bit there, and it'll be as right as rain. All right, <laughs> whoops. Okay, so as I was saying before, um, you can glue this straight on if you wish, because it's quite easy to do. Um, and then you can paint the details as you wish, or you can keep it loose, and then that way you can paint these details um, I mean, you did paint about here, and then you could glue it on. They slot on very nicely as well. You'll notice it's got these um, slight nod uh, nodules here, and there's room for it to go in. But it acts as like a uh, anchor to hold it down, so you can pose it. So if you wish, and you don't want to glue it down, you can keep it poseable. And the same with the arms as well. The arms, they got like this lock. This, uh, what is it? A keyhole system. There you go. So it's a keyhole system. So, you know, you pop it in and then you just slow down and it's in. It's not going to fall out. But it means that you can get it fully posable. So you can have fun with it and just go, ah, for the emperor. So as always, I do suggest that um, if you've got your mold line remover, that you fill in any gaps that you do have um, by just scraping along, just by scraping along those gaps like that. So mold line remover or knife, uh, hobby knife, whatever you got. See, fills it out. So you just do it gently. Take your time with it because you don't want to cut huge chunks off or anything. You just want to fill it out slightly. And of course, if you are gluing it, then it will be a little bit softer. So get it while the glue is still soft, uh, still wet, and the plastic will still be soft, and it's a lot easier to push around. Okay, so those are my tips for this kit. Oh. And so on and so forth. Okay, so that's that. Um, issue 26 is paint, so there's no building there. So, yeah, that's it. Enjoy it. So thanks again for watching. I hope you found those tips useful and helpful. Um, also, you've got my social media links up here and in the description below. And always, if you haven't uh, subscribed, just click that button, man. It only takes one second to click that button and a little bell icon next to it so you get the notifications for whenever I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.